So now we have Renee waiting to hear about what we know about her cancer. And one of the questions she may have is, how dangerous can this cancer be? What does it know how to do that it can hurt me in the future? That would be a fair question of her to ask us. It's a, a period of transitions. First, it may be that you're called with an abnormality on a mammogram. And while I was having it, I certainly wasn't thinking, oh my gosh, I hope they don't find anything, because I knew they weren't going to find anything. This wasn't going to happen. So. Uh, you then have to go through the process of being told those results. My phone rang, and it was um, the hospital calling, and they, they gave me the result that it was, in fact, cancer, that I had cancer. Being diagnosed with a new breast cancer is a you know, sort of very difficult time in somebody's so, yes, life. Yes, it was a very big shock, because when you hear that C word, it scares you to death. Because I had two, I had a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Now, here is the thing. A one centimeter tumor has a billion cells, a billion. That, you know, you go to what could happen and, you know, your children are, they shouldn't have a mom that's gonna go through this. You don't want them, you know, it's it, your think to the future of, you know, the things you'd miss, the things they'd miss with you if, if something happened. She had a rare cancer. Mom had breast cancer, triple negative, menoplastic, menoplastic. Stage, stage one, with a high grade. Man. So when, you, when you're talking about breast cancer and you throw triples in there, it, it, it can't be good. Oh, when, it, when something happens to your children, it's devastating. It's an emotionally charged period. You just start asking the man upstairs to help you. Triple negative breast cancers in general are cancers that tend to grow somewhat more rapidly. That's, that's just it. Um, but the whole issue was that, that, that until they figured out which cocktail was good, that chemo was rough at the beginning. And we were hoping that they would change what they were giving her in her cocktail, her chemo cocktail but the doctor wouldn't do it. As Chuck said earlier, they were gonna throw the kitchen sink at her because she had a rare cancer. If she had been diagnosed 10 to 20 years before she was, we would not have known that we had to be as aggressive with her treatment. And so there is a, an unfortunately and frighteningly a very significant possibility that we would have undertreated her cancer. So they were gonna give her everything they could to take it away. Our technical abilities to understand the biology, the genes, the proteins, uh, the RNA molecules, all of those things that contribute to the, what I'll call, bad behavior of a cancer, our ability to understand that is you know, so much greater than it was you know, even just 10 years ago. We stand at this moment of history where we have the ability to use engineering devices to study live cancer cells before they die in the bottle. Only live cells kill people. So what about studying the live cancer cells directly from the patient's tumor? And that's exactly the frontier where we are operating. While you're being treated, we want to take the live cells and put them through new devices that we are inventing right now and see what they do in those devices that simulate your brain, your liver, your lung, your bone. We have the capability of doing that right now. We never did before. This is not an animal. This is a tiny device. We can make 100 equal devices and test 100 different drug combinations against your live cancer cells in these devices. And we hope this will be a tremendous tool for the future. This is just beginning. 
but it stands to make a huge difference in cancer cures in every single aggressive cancer that we get. And the uh, last treatment, you've got uh, 12, 16 people. And uh, everyone has the same issue with cancer that they're trying to fight. When she got done with her chemo, the nurses got up and they announced to the room that it was Renee's last treatment. And that place, everybody started clapping and you had to go find our nurse to hug because you were going to lose it. You were going to lose it. And those ladies, fabulous, just fabulous. This research stands to be a major breakthrough uh, in the near future, and it requires the continued support of individuals who really nurture this kind of thought. The top three things I've ever heard from a doctor is, it's a girl, it's a boy, and you're cancer free. Yep, nothing's gonna top that. <laughs>